V'ger was developed to predict the driving energy of a rover before the rover travels to help future Mars rovers, which are likely to be solar-powered. The operation of solar-powered rovers is rather complex because the available power is limited and uncontrollable. The driving path is therefore carefully chosen to minimize the energy consumption of the rover. V'ger is a milestone to accomplish such resource-aware autonav and predicts the driving energy consumption of the rover from vision data. V'ger has two approaches, V'ger Terra Mechanics Net and V'ger Energy Net. V'ger Terra Mechanics Net first predicts the Terra Mechanics parameters and then calculates energy consumption based on the simplified Terra Mechanics model, while V'ger Energy Net predicts energy consumption directly. Both approaches use ortho-projected RGB and XYZ images from a candidate path on the map. We drove the Athena rover on several terrains at the Mars yard to collect the dataset. We used 13 image sequences and driving logs from the rover as a training dataset, each of which consisted of a short duration drive. The average drive time is 9 minutes and a total of 60,600 images were used. Pre-estimated Terra Mechanics parameters were also used for the training of V'ger Terra Mechanics Net. Here are the results from Terra Mechanics Net and Energy Net. The left movie shows where the rover travels, while the right two graphs show the predicted power and actual driving power as ground truth. Driving energy was predicted only for the last half of the path because the rover could not obtain the first half paths from the map. Although traveling on bedrock shows jerky driving energy consumption, most estimates are in the predicted range. Here are the results when the rover is climbing the sandy slope. Both results of the predicted power follow the trends, although the energy net result tends to underestimate compared to the Terra Mechanics net result. For future work, we plan to fuse the V'ger algorithm and an existing path planning algorithm to accomplish energy optimal autonav. JPL's Martian rovers have downlinked hundreds of thousands of images of the Martian surface. While obviously valuable, this collection can be difficult for scientists to fully leverage. Rover planners operate a tight schedule, and scientists have mere hours each day to analyze the most recent images and reach a consensus on the next day's plans. They simply can't afford to spend time manually eyeballing thousands of images, for example, to look for past records of a certain geological feature. Additionally, the Mars-to-Earth bandwidth is limited to about 60 megabytes per sol, which puts a cap on the number of images that can be downlinked that is far lower than the number the rover is able to take. What if a rover could autonomously generate a natural language description of the images it takes? These captions would not only enable more effective search over historical data, but could also help make most efficient use of the limited Earth-to-Mars bandwidth. We could downlink a far greater number of captions than we could raw images, and the scientists could make a subsequent request to downlink the images for the captions they're most interested in. We've developed a deep learning model, Scotty, that performs this task and have made the results searchable and visually explorable through a user interface. To start, image captions can be searched via text input. A paginated sidebar displays the results of our search, showing the picture, the generated caption, and other relevant metadata. Additionally, the location of each image is marked on orbital satellite imagery, immediately conveying the geographic distribution of our search results. A timeline at the top provides an at-a-glance summary of the distribution over time of these results, and all of these elements are linked and can be interacted with. Highlighting images in the timeline highlights the corresponding images in the map. Clicking an image in the timeline or sidebar focuses the map on the location of the selected image. We also integrate the ability to perform image-based similarity searches. Once selected, users may search for images that look like or that might contain similar visual features to the selected image. Future high power space computers will make it feasible to run Scotty on board an active rover, and ultimately we believe these kinds of models and interfaces will help scientists make best use of JPL's vast trove of data to make quicker and optimally informed decisions. The Mars Group is looking into augmenting rover navigation autonomy with strategic level planning and resource awareness. This will be useful for future solar-powered rovers, such as the Mars Simple Return Fetch rover, which will be expected to drive up to a kilometer per sol. Online strategic planning will ensure that the rover continuously navigates towards a distant goal, avoids large-scale obstacles, and maintains an optimal trajectory given the resources available, such as time and energy. 
previous work has shown that automated resource-aware strategic planning is possible by considering the estimated time to go to a distant goal based on the rover's 2D location on Mars, status, time of day, and possible battery levels. Finding the optimal trajectory from any state is then quick and trivial, but requires saving gigabytes of data for every kilometer of driving. Our team is currently developing RAND, or the Resource-Aware Planner for Non-Stop Driving, which focuses on compressing such heavy state spaces so that they can easily be uplinked over the deep space network. The data is then decompressed by an onboard computer, such as HPSC, to recover strategic planning functions using a combination of conventional path planning and non-parametric machine learning. These are real regions of interest in Jezero Crater, and preliminary results show that strategic plans that were dramatically compressed by RAND can be recovered by the simulated rover. Once the algorithm is mature enough, it is expected to compress heavy strategic plans down to hundreds of kilobytes of data per kilometer of driving. A trade-off exists between the compression rate and computational effort required by the rover's onboard computer, making RAND robust to varying DSN bandwidths. Future work will focus on maturing RAND, extensively testing it, and integrating it with a novel local energy-aware planner, such as our group's V'ger algorithm.